Hello and welcome everyone. So today I am going to uh, do the part four of the analyze sentiment series of website comments in a web application using ML.NET model builder and this is built upon the last part, part three. So I strongly recommend all of you to go through the first three parts before coming to this part as it is built upon the um, last three parts. All right, so let's get to you know, the next slide which is just a follow me slide. So I have got all the profiles in the social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Blogger and website. So if those of you who are interested to join my community, you are welcome to do so. Please join my um, Facebook or Twitter as a follower and you can ask me for a LinkedIn um, for my uh, network to join my network. And then let's get back to what we learned today. We learned how to configure the web page and run the application. So let's get to the Visual Studio and start coding again. Now back to Visual Studio, I am I have just opened the index.cshtml file on the sentiment result ASP.NET Core project and let me copy this and paste this with the code that I have got on my clipboard. Okay, so this is the code at model index model is the this is the model is index model and uh, for this uh, razor page for this index model class I have changed according to the Microsoft article that I am following as you are aware if you have come back through the first three lectures. So live sentiment text area has got an ID and it got 45 columns placeholder type in a text like a short review and this is basically the div class sentiment, your sentiment within uh, H4 tag and following that there is a paragraph which shows the toxic neutral and non-toxic icons. Okay, And then there is a div class marker and div ID as a marker position. Now this will be clear when I get back to the next uh, part which is changing the site.css to put the sentiment CSSs. All right, so I have opened the site.css file and then paste below the last class the sentiment style for sentiment display. So it has got a sentiment class and then within that sentiment class sentiment for H4 header, sentiment for paragraph, sentiment for the marker class, sentiment class for the marker class and sentiment for marker which is a, for the div and sentiment for marker following a div within a div and sentiment for marker class for a label, div of label. All right, so let's just indent it a little bit. So shift tab and then these two classes for the shift tab to make it aligned properly. Now the next thing is that I'll have to write some code, some functions on the JS folder site.js. So let's do that. Now I have pasted the code for a function, JavaScript function get sentiment and it gets the user input. Now what it does is that it makes a HTTP request to the on get analyze sentiment handler with the user input. Okay, so we have written on get analyze sentiment in the last lecture and this is, it is getting the user input and then makes a HTTP get request to the on get analyze sentiment. So I think this is simple enough. Um, so it returns from this part index question mark handler equals analyze sentiment. So even if you write just an analyze sentiment, the code, the script will um, put the on get, so it will get the right on, uh, I mean on get analyze sentiment handler and it passes the text from the user input, uh, which is passed as an argument to this JavaScript function and dot then response. Response is written response dot text. So it returns the response from the get HTTP request to that handler passing the user input. Now I have pasted another function 
update marker with the marker position and sentiment what it does is that it dynamic, dynamically updates the position of the marker as and when the sentiment is ascertained so it, it sends the marker to either the toxic position or to the neutral or to the non-toxic as we'll see soon in the application so please watch it till the end when we run the application and uh, just have a bit of patience thank you now finally i have pasted the code for an update sentiment function which gets the user input from the user and passes it to the on get uh, this on get analyze sentiment handler through the get sentiment function passing the user input and then updates the uh, marker dynamically through the update calling the update marker function now i finally bind the event handler you know update statement through uh, to the text area which has got an id of message and now we are ready to run the application okay so i click on iis express button so when i run this application it localhost on this port it comes with the live sentiment but when i write a message model builder is cool it does not show me anything okay uh, and the reason that is because there is a runtime error which is a fault from microsoft which i have corrected and i will show you it says string one was not recognized as a valid boolean so if you put the prediction over here so prediction is one so now wh why it is not working so let me just uh, stop debugging and i'll tell you because you know it is this prediction comes out to be a string okay so it is it becomes a string but it's string zero or one cannot be directly converted to boolean right so prediction dot prediction it it is it is a string so what you need to do is to to fix this error you need to convert dot to int 16 and you operate that conversion on this prediction dot to predict so that you know this string is converted into first to an integer before being converted to boolean right so with this change if everything is all right it should work click on iis express again so i have run the application and it is loaded now if i now paste model builder is cool you can see that you know the position of the marker changes from neutral to non-toxic and you can test it by feeding it a little bit of more information you can test it further by feeding from the uh, tsv file so you have to follow the tsv file and you can paste the other sentiments and see it is shifting to from non-toxic to toxic okay because okay and that is the end of the series of tutorial on live sentiments and in this tutorial we have actually created the web page we have modified the web page and put some javascript functions and change the uh, css to reflect the sentiments correctly